Willpower. A strong word, loaded with potential. Willpower gets us up and about. It takes us running in the rain and makes us do an extra 20. Or 30. It enables us to exceed our limits. It pushes us to continue when the lights are about to go out. Keeps us going when it already hurts and our body wants to quit. But willpower can be deceptive. It can make us do things the wrong way, the hard way. It can make us push when we should pull. Make us go harder when we should slow down. We all need guidance to get things right. To become our true potential. plots them on a route and stores my photos. I'll be able to review the route later.
While a chronograph may look complicated, it's essentially a stopwatch you can master in just a few easy steps. The first thing you may notice is the second hand on the dial isn't moving. This hand is dedicated to measuring seconds for the chronograph function. The second hand for the time of day can be found on the subdial at 6 o'clock. The other two subdials are used for measuring time within the chronograph function. The subdial at 10 o'clock displays minutes elapsed within a 30 minute segment. The subdial at 2 o'clock displays the elapsed 1 tenth of a second with accuracy to 1 20th of a second. 1 tenth of a second measurements are displayed whenever the chronograph is stopped or while reviewing split time measurements. To operate the chronograph, you'll use the buttons located above and below the crown called pushers. To start the chronograph, press the top pusher. The chronograph's second hand will start to move. While the chronograph is running, use the bottom pusher to take a split time. The chronograph is keeping time in the background, but the hands pause so you can read the elapsed time. Press the bottom pusher again, and hands will catch up to the time kept internally. To stop the chronograph, press the top pusher. When the chronograph is left running, it will automatically stop after four hours to conserve battery life. You may need to reset your chronograph. You can do so by pressing the bottom pusher while the chronograph is stopped. All three chronograph hands will return to their starting position. If the chronograph is reset and the hands are not aligned exactly at zero, you can recalibrate the hands. To align the chronograph minute hand, located at 10 o'clock, pull the crown out one click to the first position, then hold the bottom pusher down to quickly advance the hand. For greater precision, advance incrementally by tapping the bottom pusher. To align the chronograph's second hand, pull the crown out two clicks to the second position. Press and hold the top pusher to advance the hand rapidly. Tap the pusher to advance the hand by single increments. Align the one-tenth of a second dial located in the two o'clock position by pulling the crown out two clicks to the second position. Press and hold the bottom pusher to quickly advance and then tap the pusher to accurately set the hand to zero. Once your chronograph hands are aligned, push the crown back to its starting position. If your Timex chronograph includes our Indiglo backlight, simply press in on the crown to illuminate the dial. To activate night mode, press and hold the crown for about four seconds. Flashing indicates night mode is activated. For the next four hours, the Indiglo backlight will be activated for several seconds when the crown or any pusher is pressed. To deactivate night mode, just press and hold the crown for about four seconds. Need to set the time and date? For the time, pull the crown out two clicks to the second position, and then turn in either direction until the hour and minute hand are displaying the current time. To advance only the hour and adjust the date, pull the crown out one click to the first position. The hour hands will need to pass 12 o'clock twice to set the date. Right after the date changes, the watch is in the AM hours. And that's it.